and uh, Ali on. They got four clear chances. I think five. They scored one, missed four of them. Because Kakari missed three, Ali missed one. It could have been a different game. And in these games, there are five margins between these games. When you don't take your chances, they punish you. Your team had a great start to the game, but once the team got the goal, a brilliant goal by Simba, by the way, it appeared that the pressure from out of focus was a bit too much for your side to soak. What I, do you I think, think? I, I, I think it wasn't, it wasn't the pressure. I think we, uh, it was a long ball where our defender fell. It could be due to the pitch. It could be to, to poor uh, equipment. But when you, when you, when, when, that's why I'm saying that in this top liners in the semi-finals, it's a game of fine margins. If you don't stay focused and you lose one minute concentration, we were not under pressure. You saw the game even at, at red card, one man down. We still kept on detecting the pace of the game. We created more chances than them. So we were never under, under pressure. It's just that, as I'm saying, we were a little bit unlucky. And when you are playing top size, you don't have to give them the opportunity. Yeah, when you, your team went down by a man, um, there was a change in shape of your team, which gave you the opportunity to dominate, as, as you said. Can you shed some light on, on what you changed in the setup? Did you switch to a three back, four across, no, two at the front? Generally, the whole game, we have been doing a 4 3 3, yeah. but it depends on when and who has the ball and the runs. But when we went to one man down, we decided to abandon the flanks and go to a. because we realized that their full backs were not going forward. So there was no need to put anybody on the flanks. So we went for a 4 3 2 straight away. And when we were defending, we came here for 4-4-1, four, uh, four, four, just like that. So you saw, you saw Ali stay on top, but we, we actually put him close to the flank so that he will cut inside, so as Kakari who comes and cuts inside. So we, we, that's how we changed to a 4-3-2 formation. But when we were attacking, we were more of a 3-4-2 formation, something like that. Yeah, massive talking points in terms of negatives in the game. I want to ask what you think. Which one was the, was the heavier blow? The fact that your team conceded the equaliser not so many minutes after the, you scored the first, or the fact that your team right from the break conceded the second goal, or the red card, these three instances of the game that were about the tipping points. Which ones for you uh, was, was the turning point for your team? I think team? the red card. The red card would have, was, is a turning point because we knew that from 60th minute they will be gone. And you all saw it. They tried to inject pace into their game. They couldn't. They changed almost all the three midfielders. It was still not working. They brought, uh, I think, three midfielders and a defender on just to keep the, the team. It wasn't. But for us, because we believe that if the game was even 2-1 or even if it was 3-1, because don't forget, the, the, red card, the, the third goal came after the red card, am yeah. I right? Yeah. So even if it was 2-1 and it was a three, uh, it was 10-all or 11-all, could have come into the game and would have beaten them. Because it would have given us opportunity to make tactical switches, not like we, we did. Mm. Coach, commiserations on today's game. All the best in subsequent games. You're welcome, friend.